Hello everybody, my name is Jen and I work in our early childhood department here at the St. Louis Zoo and today I am going to show you how to make a pond viewer. A lot of times we can see animals around the pond by observing, but have you ever wondered what is in the water? Pond viewers allow us to see the animals and plants that live mostly under the water and what roles they may play in keeping a pond healthy. The materials you will need for this project are one half gallon milk carton, scissors, strong waterproof tape like duct tape, a rubber band, sturdy and clear plastic wrap, and your adult. If you don't have a half gallon of milk, you can replace this material with many others. For example, a puffs container or even a cleaned out Clorox white bottle. I'm using half of a milk gallon. Once you have collected all of these materials, it's time to get started. With an adult's help, cut off the very bottom to create a tube. You can then take a sheet of your plastic wrap and place it over one of the sides. Make sure the wrap is tight and smooth so you can have a clear view when looking into the water. Use a rubber band or tape or even both to make sure that the plastic wrap stays in place. It is also important to create a tight seal so that no water can get into the viewer. Now that you have made your pond viewer, remember to bring it with you the next time you visit somewhere with a pond or another body of water to get a closer look of the small or hidden animals and plants you wouldn't normally see. When using your pond viewer, make sure you have an adult with you. If you are too close to the edge of a body of water like a pond, some mud may be stirred up, making it harder to see. Sometimes you can stand or wade in the pond to get a better look where the water is easier to view. You can also use this tool in other bodies of water, like in lakes, streams, or if you live near the ocean, even a tide pool. What types of plants and animals do you think you might find?